Good morning, respected teachers and my dear friends. Today, I am narrating the story of the hare and the tortoise. Once a hare saw a tortoise walking very slowly with a heavy shell on his back. The hare was very proud of himself. He said the tortoise, shall we have a race? The tortoise agreed. They started the running race. The hare ran very fast. But the tortoise walked very slowly and steadily. Soon, the hare rested under the tree and soon slept off. The tortoise ran very fast and reached the goal. At least the tortoise won the race. The moral of the story is, pride goes before the fall. Thank you. This good channel, Jitka Sandhu. I am studying second standard. Today, I am here to narrate a story. My story name is The Ugly Tree. Once upon a time, in the forest, there grew different trees, such as mango, neem, peck, etc. There was one crooked tree. The other tree said, you are a ugly tree. Oh no, you are such an ugly tree. The crooked tree becomes sad. And said to the God, Oh God, why did it make me so ugly? Next day, the woodcutter came to the forest and said, So here and there, and said, This stupid tree, it's no use to me. I will cut down that other straight trees. He cut down that other straight trees and went. Then see the crooked tree said, Oh God, my ugly messes saved my life. We should never go. How uh, dare for us brothers, what has been said for the dating? Moral of the story, we should never bring God our troubles. Thank you. Because she loves sports. She raised her hand and said, Ma'am, pick me. I love sports. She write her name early in the morning. She woke up and went to school. She thought, I will lose. What can I do? Oh, I would just say lie to ma'am. Ma'am, I got hurt in my leg. I can't do sports. Dolly, you can sit there and watch the children doing sports. Okay, Dolly. Thank you, ma'am. After a few days, there was a art competition. Dolly was so excited because she loved art. She raised her hand and said, Ma'am, pick me. I love art. Ma'am, write her name early in the morning. Again, she woke up and went to school. Again, she thought, I will lose. What can I do? Oh, I would just say lie again to ma'am. Ma'am, I got hurt in my hand. I can't do art. And ma'am understood Dolly was lying. Dolly, you can sit there and watch the children doing art. Dolly, thank you ma'am. After a few days, there was a dance competition. Dolly was so excited because she loved to dance. Ma'am raised her hand. She raised her hand and said, ma'am, pick me. I love dance. No, Dolly, you lied a lot. Okay, Dolly. Please, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. I would give a last chance. Okay, Dolly. This is your last chance, okay Dolly? Thank you ma'am. She wore her dance dress and danced like a free bird. And she won the first prize trophy and she promised to herself, From now, I never tell lie and be honest to myself. The moral of the story is honest. We should never tell lie and be honest to ourselves. Thank you. My story's name is Three Threat. Once upon a time, there was a mango tree in the forest. One cock and monkey was living on that tree. They were best friends of each other. And they helped each other in their needs. They were best friends of each other. The tree gave mango and shelter to cock and monkey. When the people came to catch the cock, the tree hide feed him in his branches and the monkey threw stones at them. When the circus man came to catch the monkey, the 
tree hiding in his branch and the cock bite him with his beak. When the woodcutter came to cut the tree, the, monk, the cock and monkey drove him away. They were, they were living happily. One day they quarreled with each other and they decided not to help each other. People came to catch the cock, but the monkey and they didn't help him, so they catch the cock. When the circus man came to catch the cock, when the circus man came to catch the monkey, but the tree didn't help me, so they took him away. And at the last, the circus man came and cut the tree. The moral of the story is unity is strength. You are a living unity. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Anmi Kunal Kayaskar. My story name is Fox and Graves. Long, long is the leaf, the fox, fox is the eat. One day, rolling is the fox, is the great for chop. But, but, he, he, beautiful grace, the grace is a good neck, fox is the hungry, fox, Start the running, jumping, start, pun, but not try, fox, but, punt, is a fox, try, again, try, and try, pun, not try, is the, fox is the sky, I am Shaw is the great. Hello friends, my name is Ibrahim Nadeem Nalvi and I am from class 1. My topic today is the thirsty crow. One hot, one hot summer day, a crow became very thirsty. He flew in search of water but he could not find water anywhere. At last, he saw a pot. He at one few to eat with great delight. The water was so low that the crow could not drink it. Then the crow tried to break the pot, but he could, but he could not. He tried again and again, but, but he failed. The water was so little and, and, and the bottom of the pot. He looked around and saw some pebbles. He, he, he took pebbles one by one at the and brought them into the pot. The water reached the water reached in the neck of the pot. The crow drank water and flew away. Moral of the story is where there is a meal, there is a way. Good morning my dear teachers and my friends. Today I am going to tell you a beautiful story. The title of my story is An Ugly Tree. Once upon a time in a large forest. They grew to many different trees, such as mango, oak, teak, banyan, etc. Among them, there was one tree which had a fruit from it. It looked very ugly compared to the other trees. Other trees used to tease him. Oh no, you ugly tree. Oh no, was such an ugly tree. The, the, the beauty was so sad and I always thought, Oh God, why did you make me so ugly? Why are you not beautiful like other trees? One day, a woodcutter came to the forest and he saw the fruit tree and said, This fruit tree is no use to me. I got out, I will cut down the other shade trees. He got out the other shade trees. On seeing this, the fruit tree said, Thank God my ugliness saved my life. You should never blame God for our troubles. God has a reason for everything. The moral of the story is never. Never blame God. There is always a reason behind it. Kids. Thank you. Good morning, ma'am. I select from fourth standard to Oxford International School. My st story narration on the proud tree. Once upon a time, there have two tree leaves. One was the mango tree, and another one was the fig tree. The mango tree was generous tree. He is. Uh, sitting her nest in sparrows. 
The fig tree not generous. He proud of himself in looks. Then the fig tree was very greeny. The mango tree was short at him. Then one day the honey bees came. The queen bee see the fig tree and he very impressed to fig tree. Then he impressed. Then the fig tree say, "You didn't try to make your hive in my tree." Then the honey bee came to another tree. The mango tree was generous, and then the honey bee uh, make their uh, tree in the mango tree. The mango tree welcomed very nicely. Then the honey bee made their hive in mango tree. One day the woodcutter came. And then he see the mango tree. There have many honey bees, and he didn't cut the mango tree. And he see another one, the fig tree. He is starting cut the fig tree. Then he, the fig tree was very crying. Then the mango tree say to honey bees, "You cut down the woodcutter hand and head." Then the honey bee say, "You yes, you are right. The fig tree was our friend." Then the honey bee came and he cut the farm and the woodcutter body. The woodcutter ran away. Then the um, honey bee came to fig tree. Then the fig tree uh, say, "Thank you, honey bee. You are helping to me." Then the honey bee say, "You didn't say to." Thanks to me. You say thanks to mango tree. The fig tree says thanks to mango tree, and they are good morning, friends. teachers and my dear friends. My name is Rith Manishi, and I am going to tell you a story: the lion and the mouse. Once upon a time, there was a lion who who had the milk just now. Then he was the he was told uh, that let's have a sleep, and then the mouse has came and he saw that. The lion is sleeping. Now let's play on his back. He was playing on his back, and then the mouse, then the lion woke up and he told that, "How dare you, mouse, to play on my back?" He told that, "Sorry, sorry, my dear Lord King. Please forgive me. Please forgive me." He then the lion said, "No, no, 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 no. I will eat you. But please, please. Now, if you will eat me, I can be in your favor." So he. So he told, "Okay, I have just now a meal. Now I am forgiving you." And then he told, "Thank you," and he gone. Then one day the lion was had the meal and he was sleeping. And the hunter came in the jungle. He threw a net on his on his back on him. Then the lion starts crying, "Help me! Help me! Help me!" Then the mouse said, "Do that." Now this is only the time that I can help the lion. Then he cut the net. He cut the net and make him free. And then he make him free. And then the lion told the mouse, "Thank you, mouse. Thank you, mouse, for making me free." Then, then they both. Then the lion told, "Can we become friends?" They told, "Yeah, yes, we are sure. We can become friends." Then he. Then he, then he, then the mouse was going to stop. Stop, mouse! After what happened? You don't want to play my game, and they both, and they both started playing. So the moral of the story is that whatever it be, what whoever it be, whatever the success be, helpful is most important. Thank you, and have a nice day.
Hello teacher, my name is Maria Maraj and today is a story narration competition. My topic is Farmer and the Three Sons. Once upon a time, there is one farmer with his three sons. Sons are so lazy and careless with his life and farmer is very worried about that. And one day the farmer thinks to teach them a lesson and farmer told his three sons. Dear sons, please try to broke this bundle of sticks. All sons try to broke the bundle of sticks but they can't. And then farmer said, Dear sons, please try to broke this single stick. All sons get broke can broke easily. And then farmer said, Dear sons, I want to teach a one lesson of your life. When you move together like the bundle of sticks, no one can defeat you. But when you do, uh, when you alone, so when you alone, so you don't get any success like this single stick. So and then they will uh, live happily and happily and together. Thank you. The moral of the story is when we together, no one can defeat us like a bundle of sticks. And when we are single stick, and so all we don't get uh, any success. Thank you. For Once upon a time, there are a in the middle of the forest. The, and there has a river in that river then there live an old crocodile he has not able to hunt any more beast to, to has we one day he has hungry one day he has hungry on it is very difficult to hunt on land now then he stood under the tree a monkey said the crocodile and asked, Why are so far crocodile? Take some apple that I may eat with. Thank you, thank you, dear monkey. Can you please give this please give this me this apple as it Thank you very much. Ha Hello everyone. My name is Kevalya. My story name is The Fox and the Grapes. Once there was a fox. He was very hungry. He searched of food here and there. He saw a bunch of grapes. He jumped again and again but could not get them. Finally gave up. He said the grapes are sour. I could not eat them. Uh, he went away. Moral of the story. No pain, no gain. I study in first standard. My story name is The Lion and the Rabbit. Once upon a time, there was a very beautiful jungle. There lived old and lazy lion. All animals of the jungle scared him. One day, lion called all animals for the meeting. He, he told each of you has come for prey every day. All animals care and ready for the lion order. Animals plan go one by one. One day it was turn of rab rabbit. Rabbit reached lion den very late. Lion roared at the little rabbit and asked the rabbit why are you late rabbit say i met another lion on the way which is bigger than you lion asked the rabbit do you know where he lives La rabbit say yes and told the lion follow him rabbit reach an old well rabbit tell the lion another lion leaps into this well La the foolish lion peek into the well and mistook his own reflection and another lion and roar loudly hearing its own and jump into the well and die thank you good morning ma'am my name is aditi pandey my story name is mouse and lion once upon a time there was one mouse and lion lion was sleeping 
mouse was playing. Today he was climbing on tree. He fall down on the lion. And lion wake up angrily. He said, Oh mouse, I will eat you. Then mouse said, Oh, sorry, sorry, please don't eat me. I am very small. You don't get me. So, please don't eat me. I will help you anywhere. Then lawyer said, Ha, huh, you, you help me. You are very small. You don't help me. Then the lion said, Okay, I leave you, but don't come near to me anywhere. Then he leave mouse and my mouse go. Then one day lion was eating some food. Then the gnat was a gnat fall down on lion and lion telling, Help me, help me. Then the mouse come and tell, mouse come and cut the net of lion. Then lion tell lion tell oh my friend I am really sorry I don't know you help me but I don't know I I am I I know that you are so small you didn't help me then they both have bigger friend and going somewhere with togetherly this moral of the story is small one is not big they were very strong.